Paul Kantroff at 423 Violin. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And as you know, I have a lot of fun making these videos. I'm currently with the boss, the number one man. You've all asked about him. We had a lot of emails every day saying, where is he at? Well, this is Antonio, AKA El Chapo, and he is building the best house for us in the area. Folks, you can't, El, El, where are you from? What country? Salvador. Okay, El Salvador. And he is obviously a man of many words. But anyway, folks, if you need his number, you just let me know. He's great to deal with. And great, he speaks Spanish. Go figure. <laughs> you, you speak Russian? Everything. Everything. Every language, you call him. Anyway, good luck on everything you do. Paul Katroff, take care. This is a sign of a very irritated builder right now. <laughs> anyway, Paul Katroff, I'm, I'm at Thomas Supply right now. This is where we get our supplies from. Pretty awesome. Everything that you need in this store. Uh, notice I'm at a builder supply as opposed to Lowe's. And folks, if you're going to build a house, you got to get away from Lowe's. Uh, the time element, everything, it's awful. But Thomas Supply is the best in Livingston. They have the quickest delivery time. If you, uh, I've, ha I've actually had items, if I'm here at 6.30 in the morning, they will have a truck by 10.30 sometimes. sometimes. Normally it's next day, but, but I can get it the same day if I plan my cards right. So just a little bit of information. Get out of Lowe's and your job will run smoother. Okay, we're at Thomas Supply, and I wanted to impress upon you is the little things that mean the most, guys. And if you notice, we're getting wood for our house build. But the difference is, you don't just simply come in and say, hey, give me uh, 500 two by fours. What we do is we handpick every single two by four. If you notice behind me, you have uh, you have the boss, and I'm oh, sorry, the boss and this gentleman. They're literally picking out each individual board. And you notice they're going to put aside the ones that they think are crooked. Look at that. Look at that. You see? See? Very, very much a, a attention to detail. And that's what I wanted to impress upon you. I learned this. I did my first build. I didn't know. I didn't know. Everything came out crooked. The walls came out crooked. It's a categorical mess. So, uh, anyway, I, I just wanted to show you what we do when we go pick out our number. And this is something that you should do if ever you do your own build. Be anal to the time. It is catastrophic when you get 10 pieces of bad lumber that are crooked and you don't see it really. If you're a novice like me, you just hang it up. But uh, this this gentleman here, AKA El Chapo, <laughs> um, he, he taught me this. He was very, very picky. He even sent me back, he wouldn't put the wood up. So I fully understand he is 100% right. Every single board in our house is looked down just like what you see here. Anyway, Paul Catro, good luck. I, I gotta get off this video. These guys are getting pissed off. Bye. Very good, very good. See, that's a guy who pays attention to detail, folks, really. You know, when you're dealing with a, a builder supply store versus a Lowe's or a Home Depot, it's a world of difference. Guys, if you're gonna do any type of build, you have to get out of these commercialized stores like Lowe's or Home Depot. You ever gone into a Lowe's, right? You go in there to the plumbing section, they have some 80 year old who just got done working at Dollar General. And what happens is there's no longer experts in these aisles like they did 10 years ago. Home Depot and Lowe's used to be real picky, the hire. Well, what they do, they take the common ordinary person with no experience they put this little phone in their hand. You ever notice that? You walk in and anybody down the aisle, they're called floaters. They, they, they float the entire store. If you have something, they look at the phone, they check availability. It's the first thing they do. Then they read the back of the packet. They have no, have no knowledge. So if you go into a Lowe's or a Home Depot and you seek advice, you're in for a lot of trouble. They'll screw you up when you do your builds. Well, we do builder store, okay? We do builders. When you go in the front there, there's five guys sitting at Thomas Supply. Thomas Supply is fantastic, hands down. Hands down. The, the time in which they load you, look at this. They, they already loaded my guy. In, in five minutes, we're on our way out of here. Okay? Uh, but if you look, they have everything stacked up right here. All the type of woods you could ever imagine. And this is something you don't have at Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay, but I hate, I hate Lowe's trying to get wood. I hate it. If you're gonna get five, 10 pieces, not a big deal. But if you gotta get 150, 
Do you know what it's like trying to pick out 150 boards in the middle of a Lowe's aisle? It's awful. You can't be precise when you work out of something like that. And right now I'm, I'm actually looking for my guy. I think he's getting a little frustrated with the camera. Yeah, uh, I think he's running from me. Well, look, my guy is gone, but I just wanted to show you where I get my wood from. Uh, Thomas Supply is the number one builder supply. Uh, everything is much cheaper, cheaper than Lowe's, by the way. So all the way around, delivery time, everything. But anyway, look, Paul Katroff, 423buyland.com. I am not a builder, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, huh? Paul Katroff, 423buyland.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our number one customer here. Absolutely. Let me tell you, this guy's a little, uh, he's a little excited right now because he just bought some land off me. You could say he's a, a little all shook up. But anyway, Paul Katroff, call me today. What is that? You're not supposed to have that. No, no, no. No. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-uh. I know. There he goes on his back. Submission or not, buddy. You can't chew that. What is that? What is that? Let me... Can I have that? Can I have... I'm going to lift this up. Okay? I'm going to get that. Come on. Don't eat it. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> buddy. Did you just tear apart? Ooh, that's mommy's. That's mommy's panties. <laughs> hey, hey, come here, come here. No, trust me. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna make it disappear. No, give me back mommy's panties. Come on, buddy.